Hi everyone and welcome to Vogue and Glitter. This is the first movie that I am doing for this channel and this is my January favorites. Hope you enjoy and still to the end. Okay, and talking about some beauty bits that I loved. I have to say there have been two of my favorite products for the last month that I've been using honestly every day. Um, the first thing is the Film Star Blows and Glow. Yes, from Charlotte Tilbury. I know you all heard about it. I couldn't put my hands on it for quite some time, but now that I finally have, it is honestly the best thing ever. It looks totally amazing. It is this bronze and glow duo that you can use on your face every day, and I also bought a um, a brush, the powder sculpt brush from Charlotte and oops sorry something sticks out a little bit I'm using it every day so sorry if it's a little dusty but it goes perfectly in the hollows of your cheeks so even I cannot mess it up it is totally worth trying and just don't use that much of the product uh, yes I did that for both the uh, the highlight and the sculpting part you know if you use too much it just won't look good on you <laughs> and there's no point of using that much of the product we both know it's not that cheap but I think it's totally worth it because you only need a little bit and it works perfectly on you I'm, I'm using it today on my face so we totally recommend using Charlotte Tilbury and I want more from Charlotte so yes please okay another thing is from Hourglass and this is the first thing I ever had from uh, Hourglass and this looks okay first of all this looks just beautiful and there are the three blushes I think that was the holiday edition thing uh, I got it while I was uh, in the States and there are three colors um, there is the Luminous Flash, Incandescent Electra and Mood Exposure. To be honest, I'm not sure which one I'm using most, but i am tried them all and I'm wearing them every day and have been wearing them for the past month. I don't feel like they're going anywhere. So again, I think this is a very nice, very nice investment. And also a great idea if you don't know which color or the, of the blush would you like to try. You know, there are three minis and uh, I think they're totally worth this splurge and oh my god, don't they just look amazing in this whole thing. Okay, My favorite eyeshadow of the month, and I think over the past two months actually, has been from Burberry and the color is called Pale Barley. I have seen this color on so many YouTubers and bloggers and you know everyone for the past I don't know what really um, months years now I'm not sure whenever I was at the airport or somewhere that Burberry cosmetics are available uh, Pale Barry was always sold out which made me really really mad I finally got my hands on it at Stansted and I'm really really happy because this is the perfect color for me and I guess for all of you who like very um, you know really neutral uh, colors that you can really tell that they look nice but not they are not all over the top if you know what I mean I'm wearing a uh, pale barley on my lids at the moment and I have to say that this is the most beautiful color ever. You don't have to, you know, blend three colors to get this one, which is amazing. This is kind of a, a taupey, grayish, neutral kind of color and, you know, you have only one color you blend it in and you get this cool effect on your eyes so I would totally recommend this is definitely my favorite favorite product for the eyes and I'm pretty sure it would stick in my collection for long years to come my favorite lipstick of the month has been by Tom Ford and it's called Spanish Pink um, this is my only lipstick from Tom Ford and I have to say they are amazing, um, very creamy, very uh, neutral feeling, I'm wearing it uh, right now on my lips and this one particular is very um, peachy, pinky color uh, but it's a really really amazing 
and it's very natural it's a just a little splash of color so I would totally recommend this lipstick Okay, so winter, winter, winter time. I don't really like winter. Um, fortunately, we're still in the middle of it. So my skin is going totally crazy, totally dry during the season. And I need something very special to kind of make it not so dry. Um, this is, and this has been a little saver. This is Caudalie Divine Oil. Uh, this is an amazing product because you can use it on your face, on your hands, on your whole body, even on your hair that I, has, uh, that I have been doing as well. So um, this makes you feel very nourished and moisturized and the dryness leaves your skin immediately. So totally worth product. Another thing for my skin that I've been using, this is the Instant Oatmeal Mask. This is from First Aid Beauty. Uh, it's a company that I really like because this is for uh, sensitive skin, which I have. And it has been a great helper during the winter time as well. My skin after those 10 minutes feels totally nourished. The pimps are gone and uh, you can you know, be ready to face your day or go back to sleep with your face feeling amazing so um, I would totally recommend this product and the whole range you know if you can only get it just get it it's one of my favorite masks now the oatmeal scent is amazing and the whole thing is so you know just go and get it another uh, lifesaver for the winter time has been my uh, lip butter from Nivea this one is the blueberry blush and this has been I think my favorite of the whole range I had one a few years ago but uh, I have no idea where it is now but I got the, the blueberry blush um, in their store in Berlin which is truly amazing I don't know if you guys had a chance to go there but go there if you're near Berlin or in Berlin it is huge store where you can get wherever like all of Nivea products you can imagine even a candle which I obviously got because it has the scent of Nivea products which is amazing but the lip butter has been amazing because you know I had some problems with my dry lips during the winter time the problem is gone now and it's all due to this product and you know it costs like nothing so it's totally worth it and uh, there are different scents you can choose from I like the blueberry one because it's kind of make my lips feel uh, not only amazing but also look kind of pinky so you know it's nice for every day hair spray kind of thing uh, I don't know if you really use that much of a hairspray but I totally use the dry shampoo and my favorite dry shampoo of the season has been Ruth model recommends eco lab one this is the New York fruity fragrance that I have but I don't think the scent matters when the product is that good it is really that good and I've been using all of those you know most famous ones like the Batiste, like the Chlorine, like Duff, like all of those really in the past and I think this one is the best one so far that I've used it really is sheer, it doesn't leave any dust on your head and you cannot really even tell that you've been using um, the dry shampoo which is totally worth buying and exploring I might say so collab thing will be my favorite for the past man month and I'm pretty sure for the months to come as well. Um, but one of my favorite books I've read in January has been Hashtag Girl Boss. I'm pretty sure some of you have heard of it. This is a book by Sofia Moroso, who's the founder and CEO of Nasty Girl, which is a really huge, huge company uh, in the States. It's an online uh, retailer and um, I've heard of her, I've heard of the company whilst I was in the States, but I haven't really got anything from Nasty Girl since I don't live there, but um, I've heard about Sophia and 
I mean, she's amazing. She's a really kick-ass girl. And in this book, um, you can really get this whole idea of how doesn't matter where you come from or what you're doing, you know, if you have an idea and you have a passion for something, you can make it big in the world. And um, this is very inspirational uh, for me as well. And uh, this book gave me a lot of ideas of what I want to do and pursue in my life um, and the way of doing it as well, because this is kind of like a best practice sort of way. So if you're looking for a you know, a book to get some ideas or get inspired or simply read about great career and a great idea come to life, I would totally recommend Girl Boss by Sophie Ambrose. So, so. Okay, TV shows. I'm totally obsessed with American TV shows, um, but uh, this month has been all about friends and going back to the basics, if you know what I mean. I mean, who doesn't know friends, who uh, hasn't watched all of the episodes all over and all over, but since this month friends came to Netflix, I got kind of obsessed all over them again and have been, you know, putting one or two episodes while I'm preparing, doing makeup, whatever. Um, and okay, it is getting obsessive again. So, Friends is for sure my favorite show of the season. I'm really glad that a lot of other um, great shows are coming back after the uh, break, the winter break. So, uh, I'll be for sure talking about them more with you guys soon. So I think these are all my favorites for the past month and hope you enjoyed this movie. Hope you subscribe and check my videos up later on. I really hope to make a lot of them this year and hope you enjoy them. Talk to you soon. Bye.